fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, let's go! Taking a look at Jonathan Archer here in Star Trek Fleet Command because, well, let's just be honest, there's so many different officers coming out. We need to know, are these valuable and worth going after? Now, we still don't know what the long-term sourcing for the Enterprise E officers and the NX-01 officers are at the time of this video. They've kind of done some with the NX-01 with the holodeck building, but it's not like a full sourcing. I would get super excited about it. So still need to see how things are going to roll out. But we are going to talk about my man right here, Jonathan Archer, and how well he actually works. And whether he's worth going after if you're Maybe got a leaderboard coming up or you see him in a leaderboard or something like that. Is he worth pursuing? Well, in 2024, as many of you are aware, it's the year of the Zindi. And we'll see how long that lasts. And whether you like or dislike the Zindi loop, a lot of the new content is based around it, as well as the new ship, the NX-01, and going through your ex-Borg favors, which do provide a tremendous boost to the average player once you get a lot of these favors researched. So... Is he worth using on one of these ships? I'm going to show you a comparison with the focus being his captain's ability. Now, the reason I'm going to focus on his captain's ability, we will talk about a couple of crew variations, but the whole idea is he's going to give you more loot. Now, base numbers, 300% here. A little bit of synergy is going to knock that up here. I'll put that on the screen thanks to FTFC.space. As you can see here, we have a 300% and then you get synergization of 100% for each officer on the side. So a maximum of 500%. Now with my loadout, you'll see in a second, I mix loot with a little bit of PVE. Still works out. Then you have this below deck ability we'll read right now, which is of course appropriately called Faith of the Heart going from 5 to 50%. And uh, just to have it on the screen because I kind of like it when it's on the screen version, right? have it right there because it kind of highlights it. When you take damage from a hostile to the player, Jonathan Archer increases your critical hit damage by 5%, 50% at rank 5. I like that they include that for two rounds. And the ability can stack. So for every weapon that hits you, it's going to boost it up. Now, we'll go ahead and tell you that you're going to have Jonathan Archer be better when, one, you have maxed out the critical floor prime or the critical floor favor, I am sorry, and purchase the prime if you want to purchase it. Now, you need the favor, if nothing else, you're going to want the favor. Uh, that favor, of course, go into your Xborg store. Scroll on and just lower this here. Critical damage floor favor. You need this maxed out because once you do that, you start putting Jonathan Archer back into uh, mitigation. Or I'm sorry, critical hull breach ISO builds. It's going to be very, very lucrative for your loop. So let's talk about crewing number one. Here's the crew that I am currently using. Jonathan Archer in the middle with Trip Tucker on the side and Enterprise E Data. All three of these might be officers that you don't necessarily have right now, so bear with me on that. The reason being is the 400% loot, uh, loot bonus and then the isolated cascade and isolated damage that Enterprise E Data provides, making sure that I'm getting quality, massive hits on these Zendi ships. Now, sadly, the bonus for this, as we've discussed, this NX-01 only applies to the aquatics, but you can still use this to farm regular Zindi if you want. This crew is actually what I would put on my pylum. If I want to go out there and grind the same thing, I'm simply just going to ignore the NX-01 part. I'm going to go use my stronger ship. But as far as Jonathan Arthur is concerned, you're going to significantly increase the amount that you're getting. But let's talk about raw numbers. So if we, if we remember the video that I put out last week about the NX-01, some of the early crews that people are using, this was one of them. Now, this is showing you the loot. I wanted to focus on displaying the actual loot, but you can see the crew behind me is Enterprise E Picard, Enterprise E Data, and 5 of 11. It's what's been commonly referred to and known now as the loot crew, and it's the most lucrative individual loot crew for general, uh, generic use, right? Whether you're doing armadas or whether you're doing just hostile grinding for rep, any of that, you're going to have that little special, mm, yay, loot crew. PVE focus, rather. PVE focus. So, how does that compare to what I'm doing now? Like, what do I have by comparison? So this is what I got with that loot crew. Now let's take this off the screen. We're going to pull up a Zindi Cruiser level 40. Same thing. Rotate out. 10,000. So I am currently with a the, the current boss that I'm running, getting about a 25% boost to the amount of loot that I'm bringing home. And that also then extends to the really big one, which is the Aquatic Cruiser. I did manage to get a 
win on a cruiser, bringing home 107,000. Of course, that also increases the number of the Zindi scraps that I get as well, though you're not really farming uh, these ships for Zindi scraps. But to show what that compares to, so here I'm getting 100,000, but previously I was getting 75,000. Again, a little bit more than 25% increase in the amount of loot over the uh, specific crew that is that you know vaunted loot crew, while also having a focus on damage. So I'm actually creating more, dealing more, meaning I do better. And once I can start running criticals again and, you know, having hull breach, a lot of my shots are going to grow exponentially and you're going to see more value there. You see the type of shots I'm getting off and a lot of that is because we do still have the Enterprise E data for the isolated cascade. So even though we're not using hull breach and uh, critical builds, we are still getting a bonus from that. So that is a benefit of being able to run Jonathan Archer. But the biggest thing is loot. Like end of the day, does this help you get more loot? And Jonathan Archer does help you get more loot. I am sitting on uh, multiple days of my Zindi. The Zindi grind is finally starting to get closer to that five minute consistent thing. But I will say this, man, some of the things that we're talking about being great here need to have better access to the average player. I do like that the NX01 has a free to play pad day one, but Jonathan Archer is the fix to the problem of grinding Zindi. Jonathan Archer is the okay now we can actually go out and get more for these loops that now pay for all these currencies that we need jonathan archer and the nx01 are made for each other and for that they are incredibly good and incredibly valuable problem is it's just going to take so long for everybody to get both and i think that's a bit of an issue but is he good undeniably good uh, i will continue to use him in everyday use because the zindi loop has become so important between the xborg research tree and the xborg favors that exist so you expect most players now who are going to focus in and use that and heck i'll send it out right now and i'll go grind some 44s while we're sitting here maybe i'll get real lucky and fight a trader but the overall thing of what makes Jonathan archer fantastic is this below deck ability will be valuable soon once you get your favors done again you're going to need those common, uncommon, etc. export credits to make that happen. But the loot bonus going up to 500%, which currently people could run, you know, Jonathan Archer, Trip Tucker, and Shran and get that full synergy should they want, especially if they could start doing below decks with Hull Breach everything or run the Isolytic build. And this is, I think, a... It's, it's hard to word things as game-changing officers, but it is extremely valuable to your game. And Jonathan Archer... Is going to take one of the harder loops that exist and greatly reduces the amount of time it takes to do that loop because you're getting more and you're coming home with more and i think that's the biggest complaint so many of you have I and mean, we did a video talking about what your big complaints were for game design and we talked to game design about many of those things and the length of grind was an issue now, technically jonathan archer is basically a paid fix because they're only pathing right now is your normal monthly pathing and that's not necessarily great pathing but that is our current option. Hopefully we get in month three, the ability to unlock Jonathan Archer besides things like leaderboards and SSS's, but far none out the gate, just legitimately very, very good. And then of course, you know, XO one, hopefully maybe we can add one for Archer in here. Just a thought, like uh, I know I've got him on the screen, but like we have Picard Hugh claim. What if we could actually have a Picard or Jonathan Archer claim something? to get him in the hands of the average player. The reason why is I truly do believe he is that good for the game. That loot bonus is huge, allowing you to also use other abilities. And sure, all well, the other one that I showed did already include Enterprise Data, a hard to get officer. So thankfully we do get shards now through the holodeck. If y'all don't remember leveling up the holodeck, you will get shards for Enterprise E Data. If you don't know where to collect that, I'm gonna show you real quick before we wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, write them down in the comment section down below. And even if you don't, remember, it helps out the channel. So boost the algorithm and uh, leave a comment down below. So here you go. Here's Enterprise E Data. You'll start collecting him uh, every five levels. You'll alternate who you're collecting there for Star Trek Fleet Command's new holodeck update. Maybe Jonathan Archer can get that type of sourcing because truly this is a fantastic loot bonus to really speed up a grind. Curious to know what y'all think, of course, in the comments section down below. Also, I'll say a quick thank you because uh, we have started raising money for the surgery costs. Thank y'all for the help with the down payment. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Really greatly appreciate y'all supporting me and the kids and the family. Y'all are incredible. 
Live long and plunder. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek League Man video. And short answer above all, is Jonathan Archer worth it? Absolutely yes. Ab abso heck and lutely In fact, why don't you watch this hit right before we wrap up. 94 is going to turn into... Ooh, I can't wait to see. 94, show me a big juicy number right after 94. Oh, here we go. 752. So things like this want to have more of. We definitely celebrate that type of thing, that type of bonus. I get to the average player. See you on the next one, everybody. Appreciate y'all. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.